Trey has earned the president's seal of approval. Maybe he's in line for a cabinet position. Let's not get carried away, Saxton. He should at least get an invite to the White House. You've known the president for a long time, Cole. You've been to the White House yet? No, but he's a busy guy. I'm sure he'll get around to inviting me. That's my ring and my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn. What? Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. Early, you always were an overachiever. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But that kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or you can retire immediately and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. When I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction. Relief, peace of mind. The fire that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking what's next to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I wanna live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight 
to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. And who knows? Maybe I'll try acting again. <laughs> you all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. I'm not really sure what to say. I'm stunned. I think we all are. No one was expecting this. Uh, thank you, Red. Yes, thank you. And we wish you all the best. We've been up here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. But uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing. Stand up, please. But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away from WWE. You have to do something. She's going to ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? Maybe someone else wrote it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? We're not finished here. The 
If you come any closer, I will crush his neck. And the same goes for anyone else. If you try to stop us, I will end him. Ha ha ha!